Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I'm really excited to try this new curly hairstyle. It's not new at all, but it's new to me and I've had it saved on TikTok for like years and I'm finally gonna do it, especially because I was challenged by one of you, by Naturally Curly Kids on Instagram. She did this to her daughter's hair and said you should try this for your next hairstyle and that's what I'm going to do. I just thought it was a sign. And if you don't follow Naturally Curly Kids on Instagram and you got kids, you should. She is a mom with wavy hair that has mixed kids and instead of just being like, I don't know what to do with her hair, I'm gonna just straighten it because it's easier. She actually took the time to learn how to take care of her kids' curly hair and her girl's curls look so good. like better than most people that have curly hair. So shout out to you. I love that you took the time to educate yourself and make sure your curly girls look as beautiful as they are. But let me show you today's hairstyle. Here's the look we're going for today. This is what I was challenged to do. And on her daughter's hair, she did three buns and like a mohawk. But I saw this video on TikTok where she did six buns and I kind of like the look of like a full like mohawk look of six and I got a bigger head than this little girl so let's try six and see what happens. Granted I should probably just start with three as a beginner but you know me. YOLO! So let's take down this messy bun and see what we're working with. To do this hairstyle you do not need to do this on clean hair. It's actually probably better to do it on lived in hair because you kind of get that volume and you'll get little bigger buns going on. So first I'm gonna split my hair into two, four, six, three ponytails, and then we'll go from there. To do this hairstyle, we're going to need a Stronghold gel. I'm gonna try using Pattern this time instead of an edge control, we'll see how this does. I'm gonna need some bobby pins. A lot of you guys told me that to get the more distinct part look, I should use a rat tail comb and do tighter ponytails. So I'm gonna use my favorite scrunchies of all time. These are by Goody, the Ouchless Forever Bands. Ever since I discovered these scrunchies, I've never gone back to the regular basic ones. Like these literally have never popped on me, ever. Like that usually happened weekly when I got my little 99 cent store ones, but they just don't break and I have trust issues because of other um, bands and these have just always been there for me. So I have, I think, um, too many of these. Just need three, I guess, maybe six. I don't know, I'm gonna play this by ear. And let's use a brush, like a boar bristle brush to really smooth down the edges. So I want this to be as sleek as possible. Okay, step number one. I'm going to have to split this hair into three sections. So let's just, approximate this first one. Let's take this. Which side do I use? This side or this side? Okay. Ouchies! Parting dry hair is just never gonna be... Oh! But look at that part though! Okay, maybe the rat tail comb is a thing. <laughs> the things you don't see on those cute little Instagram reels, do ya? Wow, that was a pretty good little part. I do have a little bit of dryness. So I'm gonna grab my Sunday to Sunday Root Refresher. And just kind of smooth that in. Now let's focus on this first bun. So I'm gonna put this hair away so it doesn't disturb anybody. Focus on the first bun. I am going to spray this with water. Of course it's empty! Please hold. This just so it's a little more manageable. Now I'm gonna get my Pattern Beauty Gel and slick everything down. I'm liking the part. I think there is something to the tightness. Keeping it as tight as possible. And I'm gonna split this section into two. So let me just spritz it one more time. Okay. Grab your scrunchie, and we're gonna make a tight ponytail on the top of your head. Ta -da! Like so. Now I'm gonna split this section in two, and we're going to make our first bun. I'm 
get a little bit of gel just to smooth this down. And I'm going to kind of roll it because my hair is long. Into my first bun. Looks cute. Okay. Bun number one. Now we take this one. we go. Second bun. Man, TikTok really just makes everything look so freaking easy. But here on Beyond Grenade today, we'll show you the struggle. <laughs> what do you think? It's coming along. Coming along. <laughs> now, I might have already messed up because I do notice that a lot of the girls do like a diagonal and I went straight back. Hope that's not a problem, but let's keep going and find out. All right, next, split this into two sections. Maybe here we can kind of fake the diagonal and go like this. Got my other part, part one, part two. Now we put this bottom part away. Spray it with some water. I also feel like I would do a much better job at this if I was doing it on someone else. But <laughs> on my own, like just parting is a struggle for me. So I kind of want, I really want the part to be seen. So I'm gonna try to brush my hair down in the opposite direction so that you see it. Get some gel, slick her down. And there we have ponytail number two. Grab our legit scrunchie. Whew! This is an arm workout. And I worked out this morning. Maybe these are just gonna be one big one. I think I like it better as one big one. Yeah, my hair's not thick enough. If you have thick hair, you probably could split it in two. But now they're not really touching. I need more hair. Guys, <laughs> my arms are so sore. <laughs> oh my gosh. But the three is looking cute. Okay. This might all be worth it. <laughs> and the last one. Oh God, no more parting. Thank God. Yes, facelift. I'm going to split this. Maybe it's like a getting smaller thing, like a, like an AT&T bar. You know, that's what we're going for. Okay! Did we do it? Did we kind of do it? Wow! See, I need, I need one more bun right here. I don't really want this space, so I'm going to kind of connect them. Wow! Would you look at that? I did it. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Who do I think I am? Like Issa Rae with the, with the unique hairstyles? Oh. I'm very proud of myself. I'm out of breath, but I'm very proud of myself. Okay, just got up and looked in the mirror and this is fire. This turned out so cute. Wow. I mean, it's technically like not complicated to do. Just maybe on yourself. It's just about splitting the hairs. Maybe if my hair was already detangled, it would have been easier uh, to part everything, but I am a happy camper. So I'm gonna end it off with some edges. I'm gonna use the same pattern um, gel. I'm gonna use my Pattern Beauty edge control brush. By George, I think she's done it. Look at me trying new things. This is what this challenge is all about. This is definitely the most challenging challenge for me because I never straighten my hair. 
I already deep conditioned every week. I already did a big chop. I did have to grow my hair out and make, you know, be consistent. But this is challenging for your girl. I'ma wear it down and throw it up in a messy bun every day type of girl. But this, this is beyond grenade today next level. Do you accept my challenge? Are you going to try this hairstyle this week? If not this week, maybe at some point, let me know, leave me a comment. Let me know if you're proud of me. Let me know if you like the final look. Would you wear this? Would you try this on your kids? Where would you wear it? I mean, it's so unique. It's also great for days where you don't have time to like wash your hair per se, because you, as you saw, my hair was not like styled. I didn't put any other product in it to make it defined. You could just do this on whatever day hair you're on and get a whole Francis Mansa look out of it. Now that I have completed this hairstyle, there's nothing you can tell me. You can't tell me nothing. It's the whole vibe. She's going to Hollywood. She doesn't call you back. She has a very busy schedule. Winston, fetch me my food, please. <laughs> I'm just so excited. I felt the look called for big earrings because you can never see our earrings when our hair is down. This is our, this is our chance for our ears to shine, literally. One note, I will not <laughs> do this hairstyle uh, in a turtleneck. Lesson learned there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm really trying to get to 600,000 subscribers. I'm so close. So if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button for more curly hairstyles all year long. You also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee and come back every week for new videos every Sunday. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee today.